speaking with Judy and me? Uh, Chuck, I don't like it. And what, what, no, 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 just two. Valley Park, a place where kids come to play, families come to enjoy. But actually, lurking in this park is a dangerous chemical known as Penta. Penta is a pesticide that can be found on wooden utility poles, like the ones you see before us here, all up and down the line. Okay? All of them have Penta. Okay? Now, it's no secret that Penta is a highly toxic chemical. In fact, the EPA has said that short-term inhalation of Penta, short-term, is extremely toxic to humans and is a probable human carcinogen. So why are approximately 95,000 utility poles, which are found in populated areas like parks, outside schools, businesses, homes here on Long Island being treated with Penta? Well, that's the million-dollar question. That's why we're here today. Today, I'm first urging EPA to immediately investigate the specific use of Penta on wooden utility poles, particularly related to health and environmental impact. We want them to investigate it now. They say they may investigate it down the road. That's not good enough. And we want them to investigate the specific use with poles, which they haven't said they're going to do. Recent studies regarding Penta, these are recently released studies, there was one study done with Penta-treated poles, but those have been narrow and insufficient and conducted by a private firm. We need a broad, public, and strong investigation. We need the EPA, which is the authority on testing chemicals and health risks they pose, to conduct a comprehensive federal study on Penta's long-term impact on the community and specifically the use of Penta on poles, and we don't need any more delay. We need them to do it now. Simply put, I've seen no reputable study that brings me any comfort about the safety of having this chemical in our parks, near our groundwater, or in our backyards. Second, I'm urging PSEG. We are urging PSEG to stop installing the chemical-treated utility poles until this federal study is fully completed. Right now, 95,000 of LIPA's 324,000 utility poles have been treated with Penta. The installation process should come to a screeching halt until we know that Penta is 100% safe. Let's, let me give you some background. Penta has not just been a problem here on Long Island. Across the country, it's used on 55% of wooden utility poles. It has no registered residential uses. It's not considered safe enough to keep near children or in but it can be used on commercial items. In addition to utility poles, Penta can be found on shingles, docks, porches, flooring, laminated beams. Despite its use here in the U.S., the EPA says that short-term inhalation of Penta can result in respiratory tract problems, blood, kidney, liver, immune, eye, nose, skin, as well as neurological problems. So it causes all kinds of problems. In fact, Penta is so dangerous it's been banned or severely restricted in 26 countries around the world. And in October, the Stockholm Convention discussed pushing a worldwide ban on Penta. So, we're already talking about a highly toxic chemical, no doubt about it. Then in this case, we are putting that chemical directly into the ground on these utility poles. The major issue here with this particular use of Penta these chemical-ridden utility poles are then stuck into the ground and put in close proximity to our soil and our groundwater. 
We all know enough from the Beth Page plume to know that the risk of chemicals leaching into the groundwater is real. And while this is not quite as serious on a case-by-case -case basis, the massive installation of these poles adds up to a serious problem. <coughs> Localities throughout Long Island have already voiced concern about the chemical, its risks to those in contact with the poles, and the potential for it to leach into the groundwater. Town Supervisor, Supervisor Bosworth, who's here, has been a major voice here on Long Island. East New York East End St State Senator Laval and Assemblyman Thiel have introduced legislation to ban Penta in New York State, and the town of East Hampton proposed banning it in their town. In fact, in December, the preservative was found in the soil surrounding utility poles in East Hampton. So the town of East Hampton did a study and following that by a private firm. But that study doesn't say very much. It only involved testing three poles, and the study um, was only about poles that were recently placed into the ground, so you don't know how long it leached. If a little bit of penta comes from each pole and there's just three, it may be one thing. If there's 50 or 100, it may be another. And the longer it waits, the longer the likelihood is that the penta leaches into the soil. So that study doesn't give us much comfort, as I'm sure Judy will underline. The bottom line is, given the known risks, the EPA must do an in-depth in investigation of the long-term use of penta-treated utility poles. They've looked at penta before, but not at this specific use. We need them to do it, and do it now. The federal government should be involved, and the EPA must conduct a federal, must conduct a federal study on Penta's long-term impact on communities with these utility poles, particularly related to the long-term degradation of these poles and the subsequent leaching into the soil and groundwater. But second, I'm calling on PSEG. They're a new company here. They want to be a responsible corporate citizen. We're calling on them to stop installing any new utility poles with Penta until the long-term federal investigation is completed. We hope they'll give us a positive answer. Thank you, and I'm now going to turn it over to Supervisor Bosco. Thank you. 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 Yes, that's right. That's right. So I'm extremely pleased to be standing here with Senator Schumer as we speak out about the potentially harmful effects of Penta on our residents, utility workers, and on our environment. I and many of the town residents, including those who are here today, and the Senator mentioned Chuck Idol and Patty Wood, and I'd also like to acknowledge Minta Germain, the residents of the world beautiful Port Washington, we're all extremely concerned about the continued use of Penta as a wood preservative for utility poles. Penta is a probable carcinogen and has long been recognized as a public health threat and is extremely toxic to fish and shellfish. The town's concern about Penta began last spring when attention was drawn to the 80-foot utility poles, and you see them all around us, that PSEG Long Island installed along our roadways um, as of last January. Several constituents, and they're here today, brought up the issue at a town board meeting, and we began to look into the effects of Penta. Last year, we passed two utility pole laws. One concerned a timetable for removing unsightly redundant double poles, and the other required utilities to post warnings on poles, alerting people to the dangers of coming into contact with Penta. We know that touching Penta puts us at risk. On their website, PSEG even warns you to wash your hands if you touch a treated pole. Because we know we're always checking that website. Yeah. These utility poles also create concentrated pockets of soil contamination throughout our suburban communities, including our backyards, where many of the utility poles are located, including our parks, such as this one. Children walk down our streets, and as we know, kids touch everything. And what about our pets? They're apt to have contact with the poles and the surrounding contaminated soil as well. So I join with Senator Schumer on calling on PSEG to stop installing penta-treated poles. And I encourage them to look for safer alternatives for the distribution systems, 
such as non-toxic composite poles, which actually Mr. Idle had brought to our attention. The ultimate regulatory authority on this issue is the federal EPA. In January, I wrote to the EPA and submitted comments for the record regarding my concern about Penta. I am so pleased. Okay. I am so it's the Penta. <laughs> I'm so pleased that Senator Schumer's charge to that agency today is a critical step towards investigating this issue further. Thank you so much, Senator, for your advocacy on our behalf. Thank you, Judy. And does Mr. Idle or um, uh, Ms. Wood want to say anything? Come on up. And Mindy Germain. Okay, we now have. Patty Wood of the, Gra I knew your name, but the Grassroots Environmental Education Organization of Port Washington. Is it Patty with a Y or an I? An I. <laughs> I just want to commend um, Supervisor Judy Bosworth for her stand on this public health issue. She really has always, uh, has always felt that her constituents have a priority here. Um, while we agree with the goals of PSEG Long Island and LIFA to harden the system for storm preparation, they're dismayed by their apparent lack concern for the health and safety of the communities that they serve, as well as our environment. Many people um, were instantly outraged by the look or the aesthetics of the 200 or so 80-foot poles that were installed last year. But our concern was PSE's just a decision to use the wood poles treated with penta or pentachlorophenol, even though they were safer options, albeit a little more expensive. children like to play and the poles are very attractive. Touching the poles, especially in warm weather, when the chemical will seep to the outside surface of the pole more readily, is considered a major exposure for utility pole workers. Indeed, they are advised to wear gloves when installing poles and working around them to prevent skin absorption and splinters which allow Penta to be immediately introduced into their bloodstreams. So why does PSEG and LIFA refuse to allow the placement of signage to warn parents to keep their children away or to wrap the poles so that no skin contact can possibly be made? Does PSEG know that here on Long Island we get our water from the soil source after? As was mentioned, we find it in soil samples and it is a known groundwater contaminant. Good neighbors, this is what PSEG's website says, and I quote, all 2,000 of us at PSEG Long Island are excited to be part of the community. As a company, we have strong commitment to giving back, and you'll see many of our people involved in community events throughout the year. Our community partners tend to be focused on three key areas that are aligned with our mission as a company. Safety and first responders, education and community, unquote. So let me get this straight. PSEG wants to be a good neighbor, but they'll sue anyone who tries to warn people about the toxic chemicals PSEG is using and they're introducing into our communities. So a question is, this is not, or a statement is, this is not how good neighbors act. Thank you. Chuck Idle. Thank Can you, you spell much. your name and where you're from? Thank you. 
Bob Bosworth with uh, composite poles, which are alternative to wooden poles, and uh, across many other states, they're doing all sorts of alternative methodologies to safe uh, utility services. and then Judy and I will go walk along the poles for those who want to see that. Senator Schumer, there's a lawsuit against the town for the signs. Do you think, from PSEG, do you think they'll cooperate with you? Well, I hope they'll cooperate. As uh, uh, Patty mentioned, uh, they are a community-minded organization, and this is being community-minded. You know, there's real danger here. If you're supposed to wash your hands after touching the poles, what are we to think? You know, the irony is and yet they have a problem with us asking them to put it on the box. Other questions? Other topics? Other topics. Uh, just your thoughts on the controversy surrounding Hillary Clinton's emails. Yeah, well look, um, she's done, I know her, and she's done uh, a very, very good job of releasing 55,000 pages, more than any other Secretary of State has done. Um, she, the investigation of Benghazi has come up and over and over again, and it's come up with zeros. Um, the average person wants us to be focusing on getting middle class incomes, getting up again, good paying jobs, protecting us from terrorism. I think that this is something, you know, it's part of political life, but we ought to be doing more uh, things that are vital to the average citizen. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Come over here.